If you are visiting Chile and a tour of Santiago is not on your itinerary, you would be missing out. Santiago is the capital of Chile and the country's largest city with lots of tourist attractions. It sits in a valley encircled by the Chilean coast range as well as the snow-capped Andes. You will like the magnificent view of the Cordillera after rainfall, particularly in winter, as the snow-covered pinnacles soar at the rear of the city. Besides, Santiago is a fast-growing municipality with a population of about 7 million. It is grouped into 32 self-governing communas with the majority being flat suburbs. The city center boasts a pleasant atmosphere with tall, plush trees filling the main square. Also, you won't mind the many flawless landscape parks adorning the city. Apart from being the entry point into Chile, Santiago is a tourist attraction on its own. It is a historical, economic, and cultural hub where you can have a feeling of the identity of the country. There are many things you can do in this metropolitan city, thanks to its dynamic and continually advancing cultural scene. Visit Museo Chileno de Arte Precolombino to catch a glimpse of a charming collection of pre-Hispanic civilization artifacts, such as fine tapestries, dazzling jewels, and intricate ceramics. Admire the colonial architecture in the city center at Plaza de Armas, and you can decide to sit on a bench to observe events at the center. Mercado Central and Feria Municipal La Vega are two major markets in the city, worthy of exploration. With an array of fresh fish and seafood on display, you can be sure of splendid organic shopping. Do you enjoy skiing and snowboarding? Visit the world-class ski areas in the Andes close to Santiago, such as the popular Portillo Resort. Cerro San Cristobal is a steep hill that boasts an elevator that lets you reach its peak. You can have a view of the snow-capped Andes, especially when the weather is clear. If you don't visit Museo de la Memoria y los Derechos Humanos while touring Santiago, your visit is not complete. The museum is dedicated to the remembrance of victims of dictatorship in Chile. A wine tour in this amazing city is not out of place. You will be the guest of the oldest wineries in Chile. Many of them offer tours as well as tastings to make your trip a memorable one. Museo Arqueológico is situated in a charming old house with remarkable artifacts including pre-Columbian pottery, skulls, petroglyphs, and so on. You can trek around the city without leaving the major part. On the other hand, it won't take you long before reaching the base of nearby mountains, but it's a bit challenging. Avenida Belevista is a market situated between Puente Pio Nono and Puente del Arzobispo. It accommodates sales rooms as well as workshops for sellers of jewelry as well as produce from lapis lazuli. There are lots of cultural attractions in Santiago and that is why it is one of the most treasured destinations for tourists. From contemporary theaters to the odd book festival, it is a place rich in cultural diversity. Centro Cultural Palacio La Moneda is an underground art gallery situated within the palace. It boasts a big, cutting-edge central hall 
which plays host to dynamic exhibitions. Some of the features of this gallery are a diverse collection of artwork, pottery, jewelry, photography, and textiles from various parts of Chile. Palacio de la Moneda is the official seat of the Chilean government, and it is an architectural masterpiece. This neoclassical presidential palace is one of the most popular buildings in Chile. Four guided tours take place every day, with each lasting for one hour. Enjoy a visit to Centro Gabriela Mistral, the most thrilling cultural offering in Santiago. It is a massive weathered steel structure on the Alameda. The place has various programs for tourists, including contemporary theater, music, dance, cinema, and art. Catedral Metropolitana is situated on the western part of the Plaza de Armas. It is a blend of neoclassical as well as Baroque styles. The structure bears Joaquin Tuesca's mark, the supervisor of its completion, having been brought from Italy in 1780. You will see a Estación Mapocho, an immense stone and metal structure west of Mercado Central. It was constructed in 1912 to serve as a station for the Valparaíso-Santiago railway line. Since the rail service is no longer functioning, the building has been turned into a cultural center where you can watch plays, exhibitions, as well as concerts. You won't have issues getting a nice place to stay in Santiago based on your budget. There are standard hotels that you can book, depending on your choice. The majority of low-cost rooms in the city are quite small with few pieces of furniture. Alternatively, you can go to a hostel so that you will be able to reduce your expenses on accommodation. There isn't much fluctuation in prices, however, some hotels may charge more between November and February. There is a wide range of places for you to eat in Santiago. There are modest picadas that serve traditional meals, and you can visit stylish restaurants. These modern restaurants offer various cuisines like Japanese, Spanish, Southeast Asian, Peruvian, Italian, and French. Visit Santiago to unveil the captivating entertainment and cultural opportunities of Chile's political and cultural capital. Let Online Travel Direct help you book your flights and hotel so that you will be able to get the best deal.